doesn't seem to me like governments have the vision that they used to. Like, you know, in post-war eras and things like that, when we built things like the Snowy Mountain Scheme and, you know, the the Harbour Bridge and all these things, like, they're, they're big. And, and, I mean, I don't even know what it would be like to live in a society where people made those kinds of decisions and just did it. Because I live in a world where, you know, it's all private investment and it's all cost-benefit analysis and stuff like that done before any of these things are, are, are done. And, um, you know, I think that it needs a really bold person and, and um, mentality for people to go, look, we don't care what it costs, we don't care, you know, we're just going to do something amazing, we're going to build a pyramid, we're going to build something that people will just look at in the future and go, you know, that's fantastic because, you know, the reality is, you know, you, you, when, I, when you go visit the Harbour Bridge now and you go visit, um, you know, the Opera House, those things are old, like, you know, they're, they're, they're well, what, what else do we have, like, what's new, we don't have anything. Yeah, so, you know, if they want to build a fast train, they should. They shouldn't worry about where they're going to put it or how they're going to fund it. If it's going to, you know, completely change the way people move around the city, just do it.